Hi, I think I'm live. Are we live right now? Let me see. This is a different screen than I've ever seen. How interesting. Okay. I did something a little different this time, so um, I'm just going to say hello. Anyone there? <clears throat> Man, it's hot out here. Maybe I'll go inside after all. I wanted to kind of sit out here. Lily's out here, and I wanted to... Hi, Corey. Um, I wanted to give you guys a, your message outside uh, before it got too hot, but it is hot. Um, so I might go inside halfway through this. Hi from Texas. Yay! Hi from California. Blazing hot. <laughs> um, I'm going to wait just a couple of seconds. Oh my gosh, I'm already like melting. I'm already, I'm literally starting to drip out here. There's no, uh, no breeze out here right now. <laughs> I think I, shoot, I've got everything set up. Well, Lily's out here, so I might stay out here for a bit, just so I can see my animal messengers come. Um, okay, so I'm, I'm going to say a few things. First of all, I wanted to thank everybody for all their love sending me about Lily. Um, she's, she's still not doing very well. I mean, she's not as, I mean, it's not, I know that her kidneys are not destroyed um, and her liver's not destroyed. She's on the high end of normal, but it didn't help that she's been poisoning herself on top of um, the terrible conditions that she had to live in. Um, I have several messages that I need to talk about um, and it actually has a lot to do with this. Lily gave me the messages and so did my twin. My twin's connected to this as well. Um, I heard quite a while ago, quite a long time ago, when I was going through what I was going through, my girl needs water. And I, I thought I, I was being Talk, I thought my twin was saying she needs water like I like I like to be by the water and I said yeah I'm a mermaid hi I said yeah I'm a mermaid I like to be by the water that wasn't it I needed water my body physically needed water so that was my first message from my twin and then Lily started to exhibit it to me because she was trying to help me and my twin too and there's some other people too that, that because as I have said before every message uh, that we get is not just about us it's not just about you Sherry remember I have messages that I'm supposed to deliver and I get messages in my dreams and through my animals so what was going on was Lily was in a very um, was supposed to be cared for by someone else and she was in a very toxic environment it was horrible what was happening to her and I was not aware of what was going on so um, that started breaking her body down it started it, it, it took its toll and her organs were starting to shut down I didn't know that and so she went around on the patio because you can see her grass had died I've replanted new grass there and some grass here but she went around on the patio and she was trying to find somewhere that she could get moisture she, and, and settle her stomach because what was happening to her um, and, and that and that and that started to poison her so it has exasperated the problem. It, 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 it had to get to a place where it was happening quickly because I wasn't getting the messages that I was being told. Over a year ago, somebody came to me, and I know that it was connected to my twin. He came to me and uh, Ed said to me, my guides told me not to put this white powder in my coffee. And I said, you're not putting the white powder in your coffee, are you? And he said, no. And I said, okay. But then months later, I saw a blonde woman putting white powder inside the smoothie that he would make. And what I've, yesterday when I was trying to figure out what was wrong with Lily, um, she was exhibiting all signs of kidney failure, liver failure, um, and, and I, and everything. Every single symptom is what she had. And spirit gives me breadcrumbs, crumbs, you know, they, they feed me clues. And... <sighs> The signs were hair loss, weight loss, lethargy, um, un, 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 loss of appetite, um, throwing up, um, increased urination. Um, bit, I mean, clearly she was cranky and she was kind of staying away. So these are all the signs. These are all the signs of your kidneys shutting down. And I panicked and. I started making her all the, you know, I mean, I was already feeding her and she was, but, but it was hard. It's still very hard. I have to literally force her to eat and she doesn't want to. Um, I, I literally spent next month's rent on, on my doctor visit yesterday and she was given anti-nausea to help her with, with that. Uh, and she was, uh, they did a bunch of stuff to help her, but, but I took her home as opposed to letting them just do all this exploratory stuff because they, they didn't know. They, they said that all of her, her organs were not damaged but they were on the dangerous high side 
So I realized that she had eaten the aloe vera plant, which was poisonous to her body. Now, this is the message. It wasn't enough to kill her, but it was enough to cause hair loss, vomiting, diarrhea, loss of um, weight, lethargy, all the signs. But, but by the fact that she was already, her body had already gone into um, failure because of, the, um, because of the extreme conditions that she had to live in, it became life-threatening. So what was being given to her, she was ingesting it herself. Now what I saw was, as I was driving, you know, Spirit gives me messages on cars, on vehicles, and in, 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 in my head, in songs. Um, I was shown rat poison. Um, I literally saw rat poison. I, as I drove on the freeway, I saw she needs barley grass, so she needs her grass. I saw she needs cool air, like literally she. Um, which is the things that were happening, right? Her grass was gone where she got, because that would settle her stomach. Um, and the, the cool, cool, water, cool air, clearly, because it was overheating, her body was overheating. Oh, that was another sign of the, um, of the poison, is, is it overheats your body. Um, <clears throat> and then when you get like this, you get to the place where you, you don't, um, you don't want to eat, you don't even want to get up. Like she wants to stay out here in, in the heat. And, I, and I'm letting her right now, I'm sitting under. When it gets to the point where I can't stay out here, she's going in. Uh, but she want, but you, it, it gets messed up. So what I was shown is there is someone, and I've been shown this for quite a long time, who is not well. They're physically ill and they don't know what's wrong with them. Um, someone is actually poisoning them. And they are doing it very, very slowly. It's not enough to kill them. It's enough to keep them incapacitated. It's enough to keep them from leaving. It's enough to keep them from separating from them. This person is either a roommate, a girlfriend or boyfriend, a, a parent. It's somebody that they trust. It's somebody close to them. Um, it's, it's really sad because I've watched it for a while and now I understand because what they have done is they have put whatever this I, I saw rat poison. I don't know that it's rat poison. I, I actually believe it's a mushroom because they showed me a mushroom, a fungus. Um, and it's normally, um, like there are mushrooms that are safe for you to ingest and there are mushrooms that can make you very, very ill. So that's what I, I was shown. And what is happening is this person is taking it themselves. They are poisoning themselves because it has been put in something that they use daily that they think is helping them. So what I saw originally was the first original dose of whatever this was was put in this person's smoothie. Uh, no, their cough, but and, and their guide, their own personal guide was trying to tell them, don't put that white powder in your coffee. You didn't put it in there, did you? No, I didn't, but someone else did. And I saw them putting it in, the, in could have been a protein shake, right, the protein powder, because it was whatever went in this smoothie. But now it's switched, I've seen it, so maybe the seasons will change, right? And how whatever, however you're using whatever it is that you're using that you think you're taking for yourself to make yourself feel better. So if you're not doing well and you normally, um, you, you make smoothies and you put all the healthy ingredients in, whatever, but you're just not getting better and you just don't know why, it's in your powder. Um, I saw the tea now. So it could be because the season switch, maybe the person is having hot tea. I, I, what I saw is that kombucha, Kombucha, the tea that's made of a mushroom, whatever it is, there's mushrooms involved in it and it's, they think that they're doing it to make themselves better. They could even be thinking that they're doing it to, because um, I know that, that's, that's a cleansing. Uh, people do that for a cleansing. Whatever it is, you're being poisoned and you're doing it yourself. You're poisoning yourself. So there's a lot of messages here. You guys pay attention to what you're taking because Lily thought what she was doing was helping her and it was poisoning her and it was making her sick to the point where her body organs were shutting down. The person that I'm seeing, they feel like they're dying. They get excruciating pain. Um, I'm showing kidney stones. Kidney stones keep coming. That's why Lily showed me the kidneys. Um, as the doctor said, her levels are dangerously high, or that they were dangerously high, but they're, they haven't been damaged yet. But this person's body is being damaged. Um, and they're doing it to themselves. They're self-administering something. So you may be self-administering something that is not in your highest good. So you need to pay attention to that. So many messages, just you need to pay attention. I know that the person that is supposed to hear the main message from me is hearing this. They will watch this. I know that. Um, but for other people as well, you need to be careful. Also for people who have animals, I have on my patio right here a hibiscus. Those flowers and those leaves are deadly to cats. Well, they'll make them very sick, so I have to move that. She hasn't gone near that. But I also have lilies. 
right there. And what's interesting is her name is Princess Tiger Lily. <laughs> and when I got that message, I started to, um, I was told, interesting, the girl at the doctor's office said, this is how spirit works with me, said to me at the doctor's office, um, why did you call her Princess Tiger Lily? Because it was it because of Peter Pan? And I said, no. And it's interesting, I call my twin Peter Pan. And she said, oh, and because there's a tiger lily in Peter Pan. And I looked up who this person was. This person is a best friend who had a crush on Peter Pan, um, went to kiss Peter Pan, and she hung, she, I guess she was Peter Pan's friend's little sister. She was, and her father was the chief. She's this Indian princess, right? And she's a spoiled brat. She's a, she gets a lot of attention. She's a spoiled little brat, and she follows around, tags around after them, and she, he kind of puts up with her because it's his um, friend's little sister. But then she makes an advance on him, and he shocks him, and he pulls away. He doesn't, doesn't want anything to do with that. And uh, so then she goes after another one of the friends. So she's, she's a flirt, and she wants attention. She's spoiled, um, and she's after my Peter Pan. So there's that message. But they also call her, she has a nickname, and they call her Aya. But it's not, it's spelled like Aya, like at the beginning of Ayahuasca. So people take Ayahuasca because they feel it's going to help them. They feel that it's going to help them open up spiritually, right, and go to a higher level. I know a lot of my spiritual friends do Ayahuasca. I've had it come to me over and over again, and it started coming to me when my tune disappeared. So it was probably coming to me all this time because of that. And... I wrote to my friend, um, my ex-boyfriend actually, Tony, I wrote to him and I, and I said, you know, Tony, they keep telling me, I keep getting ayahuasca, ayahuasca, and everyone keeps asking me, inviting me to go. And I said, I, but my higher self is saying no, there's some reason that I'm being told no, because I told you guys, I, 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 t I smoked salvia, remember, and it took me on that really bad trip, but it didn't do that to anyone else. They were all laughing at it, but to me, I'm a super sensitive and my body went absolutely haywire, apeshit crazy. I wanted to kill somebody. I literally wanted to kill somebody. Uh, Archangel Michael showed up, counted down with me, took me out of it, but the room was rolling. I thought I was going insane. Someone I know has done this, has taken something that they thought was good for them. I literally felt it in my body. I watched them go up and spin around and around and around. It was bad. It was bad news. And they thought that they were doing it in a way to, to help them. So when I asked my friend, Tony, God, my, my screen's gone black again. I don't like when that happens. I wonder why that happens. I'm going to ask something don't know what's going on. Why is that happening? No, that didn't save it. Why is that happening? I wonder if my phone's getting hot. Shoot. Um, any, there's a reason that that happens, and I think it's the heat, which means Lily and I are going to have to go in soon. Um, what he said to me was, Sherry, your mind is so open. You are so open to spirit right now. I'm afraid that if you took that, it would blow your mind open so far that you may not come back. Now, I saw someone connected to me that, that they went away. They went into their head. They were gone. And it was like they, it, they went on a bad trip. It was like an, it's an acid trip. They took an acid trip. That's what I saw. No, you're not. See, now Lily's over there looking for the aloe vera right now. What are you looking for, baby? You're thirsty. See, she's thirsty. See, now, see, she's thirsty, and she went straight over. Come on, you're going in. Come on. Come here, babe. Sorry, I gotta do this. So she went right to the po plant was gonna poison her, and it's not there anymore. Come on, baby, you're going in. I knew my phone was getting hot for a reason. See, I get messages and I need to follow them. Hold on, her and I, here she is. Hey, everybody, that's my baby girl. Hold on, I gotta let us in. You gotta go in, baby. You gotta go in. No, you gotta stay in. Let me turn the radio off, sorry. Okay. Um, no, babe. She just keeps wanting to go out. So, so, come here, baby. Look it. Here's your water. Now, this is an un another interesting thing. Um, as I was talking about the plants right outside in your animals, and, and, uh, come here. You have to be careful. Cats get really finicky, and they only want certain things, right? She wants water, but she doesn't want water in a dish. She want I, I give her water with, um, crystals, with stones, and that's how she'll drink her water. And she's not listening to me right now. She won't do it. This is your water, baby. She's gonna have to just stay in and cool down. So what it's telling you is you're doing something that you think is right for you, which is good for you, and it's not good for you. It's very harmful for you. I'm gonna shut these. And uh, um, where was I at before she did that? Um, 
Oh, the ayahuasca trip. Okay, so I did that, right? At the time, this was before I was, was on my spiritual path. I would never do something like that again. But that is what kept coming to mind with me when I was invited to do this ayahuasca. I've been invited to do ceremonies over and over again. I've got a lot of spiritual friends that have done it. And I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with it. I'm, you know, I'm just saying that for me, it, it doesn't work. It, it, I can't do it. M my body is far too sensitive. Um, just like um, there's a lot of things that other people can do, right? And I can't do it. It's too sensitive. So I saw this person going up around and around, and it was like I, I, my body was doing it. I was literally going around and around, up and up and up, higher and higher and higher. It was crazy. And then they came back down again. And they were doing this with a roommate, a, a young boy. It looked like a redhead to me. So I don't know what that represented. I'm just, I'm just throwing these things out. Um, it might have been on a... Um, I'm trying to turn my computer on here. It might have been on a, um, I saw a jungle, so it might have been on a, they might have actually gone to, um, what is it called? Um, people go to what, Peru, and they go to, um, they might have gone on a retreat, literally gone on a retreat, and, and thought that, you know, people do that. I have friends that do it all the time, and they thought this was good for them, and, and whatever it did, it blew their mind open, and when it blew their mind open, it, 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 was allow, it allowed other spirits to come in, other energies to come in. So, because when you're open like that, when your mind is that open, you're not protected. And other energy came in. So, they may have come back down and thought that they were okay, but they've opened a gateway. They've opened a door that's not shut. And that's one part of it. So, um, when I saw that Tiger Lily, her name was Aya, it's pronounced A-U-Y-A. -A -A. That's how it's spelled, just like ayahuasca. So, this was Peter Pan's friend. Um, so it may be that this person is doing this thinking that this is good for you, but you are slowly poisoning yourself. You are poisoning yourself. Um, or it could be that this person is the friend giving them this, um, ayahuasca. Because what I, this is the next message. This person has gifts. This person is spiritual. I just had something happen in the last several days, and it's upsetting, and it makes me sad. Um, Spirit's been warning me for a long time, and I've been talking to you guys about this too. Just because somebody calls themselves a spiritual person doesn't mean they're doing things the right way. Um, we kept getting the message, Marie Masquerade. Marie Masquerade. Marie is somebody who, basically, somebody's going to invite you to do something, and it's not in your highest good. Um, it's going to look, it's going to be tempting. It's going to be something that you're going to want to do. It's going to look like it's good for you, but it's not good for you. It's very bad for you. It could be very, very costly. Now, this person I see... Their body is literally shutting down. Their organs are shutting down. Um, they're, they're okay right now. They're still safe at this point, just like Lily, but it's at a dangerous point. It's at a point where their organs are being affected. It can be reversed at this point, <clears throat> but their organs are being affected. Someone is feeding them poison in something that they have. Or Sorry, somebody called through. <clears throat> um, so pay attention to that. Um, I'm going to go back to this, this uh, Marie Masquerade. So what, what the message is, you may observe someone who is, um, they, they come across as they're giving, they're, they're, they're using their spirituality, they're using their light worker status, or they're putting themselves out like a light worker. I was shown someone studying you, they're watching you, right? Watching your work, watching how you do things, and they're gonna, they want to copy this. No one's ever going to be able to be who I am until they do their own work. So it's their own loss. That's why Spirit says, do your own work. Don't ride on the back of others, right? Big dogs ride for free. These are the ones who are riding on the back of those of us who are doing our work. Um, so what I have found, I didn't know who it was. Um, I kept getting from Spirit, you need to dis dis uh, remove yourself from dishonest associations, right? And uh, so what I saw was... What they told me is, are you attempting to network instead of friend, befriend? That's what Marie Masquerade is going on. There is somebody who is attempting to network. They are befriending you in order to network. They're befriending you in order to make a profit off of you. It is not about friendship. It is not about spirituality. It's about making money. Okay? Now, if you're using, like, like I offer readings, I offer life coaching, I offer dream, dream analysis, I offer Reiki. Those are all spiritual gifts and services that I offer. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about using your platform, like this is my platform for my spiritual work, in order to sell something else to somebody, in order to make a profit off of something else. I can't tell you how many people write to me, call me, and ask me if I will use my page and my, my website to sell their products. 
and I say, and, and you know, a, a lot of times it has a little bit maybe to do with it because it could be holistic or whatever. But it's, that's not right. This is my spiritual work. This is not about selling to the public your product. And that, well, you'll make a lot of money at it. This is not what this is about. This is a spiritual work. These are, this is about helping people uh, to find their way, helping people to grow and learn. And, and, and we're all part of this. We're all together. We're all learning. I learn from you guys, right? The teacher becomes a student. The student becomes a teacher, right? This is how it works. But there are ones, and I've watched on my pages, people that I know, that are using their spiritual pages to sell their product. Um, and that's okay. Um, if they think it's okay. I don't think it's okay. I'm being shown, look, you keep your, you do it on your private page. Don't use your spiritual page to do that. But what they're doing is they are getting into the spiritual, like, like offering free readings, right? Let's do card readings and get a, getting a following of people so people can trust them, right? And then they start selling the product. Now, I suppose you, you can take, make a judgment call yourself whether you think this is inappropriate or not until I saw what I saw yesterday, the last few days. Somebody posted this, one of these people who has been doing this, they offer card readings. They're not, um, they're not really super connected from what I, because I, they did a reading for me and I watched the way they read the card. They, they're, anyone can get a deck of cards, throw them down, pick up a card and read you the card. The connection isn't strong. So they may have gifts a little bit, but, but they're not doing their work. So they're not expanding, right? They're not, they're just kind of dabbling in it a little bit, which is who this person is that I see poisoning this other one. They've got a little bit of gifts, but they really don't have a lot of knowledge. They're actually feeding off of the person that they're poisoning. They're feeding off of the person that they're trying to incapacitate to keep them from leaving them. They want that person to stick around. They need that person. That person doesn't need them. So what I watched yesterday was one of my, and, and unfortunately I, I approached the person let them know what I saw, and they chose to go ahead and do it anyway. And so today I blocked them and all, and, I'm, and I was sad doing it. But what they did was they offered a product. And what they did was, and it was a product that I, I liked. And they, took, they put a picture up. Um, it was dental uh, toothpaste, and it whitened your teeth. And I said to them, have you used this product yourself? And they said yes. And what they said was that they were selling this product, and, um, but it was a very expensive product, it's $20 a tube, um, I'm, not, I'm not selling this and I don't want to. I'm just going to order some of the products for myself and I'll send it to you guys. So something pinged in my head. So I punched in the name of the product on the computer and it sells for $9. They're literally doubling in more what it sells for and saying that they are giving it to them at cost. That's dishonest. That is using your spiritual connections to fuck people over. I'm sorry, that's not okay. So I didn't go and write a whole big long thing to them. I just merely went, I, I ordered it for myself for $9. With the shipping it came to like 12. They're selling it to these people for 20 plus the shipping. So they are, and they know what they're doing. Now if you said, I have this product, you can buy it. But to say, I'm not making a profit, I don't choose to sell it, it's expensive, this is the, you're lying. You're misleading people and you're lying. You're straight out lying. So white lies are lies. And to me, there was no light, white lying in that. That was straight out lies. So I thought, okay, well, maybe they aren't aware, right? Because my heart doesn't want to believe that. I just don't want to believe people. But I kept getting from spirit, you need to disconnect from dishonest, walk away from dishonest associations. And I was like, okay, so I ordered it. And then I took a screenshot of my order and I sent it to them three days ago. They saw it and then proceeded to today announce the product is in. Does anybody want their stuff? And I blocked them and deleted them. They're done. They're off my pages. They're off of everything. I'm, and so Spirit had been showing me that for a while. And this is just a warning for people. There's nothing wrong with selling. Um, everyone has to make a living. There's nothing wrong with multitasking. You're a spiritual teacher and yet you also you know, sell essential oils on the side or candles. Um, that, that, that's fine. And if you want to share it with people, that's fine. But you really need to be careful that you're not networking with people, do, using your spiritual work in order to network, that, you're, that that's your plan. Clearly that's what Spirit was showing me. I'm not jumping to a conclusion here. I've been getting this for quite a while. Marie Masquerade, you're going to be invited into something. It looks appealing. I have had one, two, three, <clears throat> four 
different spiritual people do the same thing with me. And as I followed, I watched them for a while. They're not gifted. They, aren't, they are not doing their work. They're using that cover in order to sell. And I was disappointed, but I'm the one, and I was told yesterday too, and I know I do this, uh, a friend of mine uh, said to me, I felt like you were blasting me when you got angry, when, when nobody you know, uh, showed up and said anything about the person that was un under attack and needed help. And it made me very angry. And I know she wrote to me and she was not happy. And she said, I did do it. I don't need to tell you that I'm doing it. No, you don't need to tell me that you're doing it. But when somebody is desperately looking and, and in a place of fear and looking for support, it doesn't take anything for you to say, thumbs up, I'm here. It was just a lesson. It was just a message. And spirit, unfortunately for me, they've told me, you, for speaking the truth, you need to understand you're going to be punished in the short term. It's going to pay off in the long term, but in the short term, you're going to be punished. You are being used to say the truth, hard hitting the truth in ways that people don't want to hear it. So I know I do this and I heard myself. I told you when I, when I would listen back to the reading, I would probably hear things myself. When I heard myself, uh, cause I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't looking at myself. I was like multitasking, right? I was doing what I told you guys to do. Listen to this while you're doing your housework. So I don't know what I was doing. I was doing something else. I wasn't looking at myself. But when I got to the place where I had made my statement like this, and then I came back and I was very emotional and I said, I'm really disappointed. I, it's not okay. The Father is, forgives us for doing things that we do, but I'm, I'm not okay with it. it, it and, I, and I got really firm. I shocked myself. I went, whoa, and I literally started crying in my chest. I started crying and I was the one who was talking to me. So the message is also for me, but I do know that it hurt. It hurts to hear that, you know, when we do things and spirit smacks us, it hurts. It doesn't feel good. Didn't feel good to me either. I got smacked too because I've no doubt done that many times myself. All I know is I felt empathy and compassion and I started to cry when I said that to myself. I also probably was connecting to the person who was so desperately asking for help and no one said anything. So as I said to my friend yesterday, I understand, and, and Sandy said it to me too. She said, I didn't, sorry, I didn't say anything. I really did go in prayer and do that. And I know that so many of you did. I know that. That's why I said at the beginning, I want to thank you for being there for the person because when I got there energetically, I saw everyone around. I saw everyone standing around. They were there energetically. So many of you did literally without saying anything, do exactly what I asked for which I appreciate and that's why I said thank you. But it's still, Spirit said it still needed to be emphasized that it's important that when somebody asks for your help, it's clear to them that you're helping them. They need to know because we're not God. We, you know, we're going through a difficult time right now and even though Spirit is coming to our rescue, yes, the, the angels all came in, all of my friends energetically, all the light workers. I called everyone around the planet, by the way. So the people that I saw there was everyone. Um, they need to see it. So it doesn't take much for you to just do a thumbs up, thank you, you know, whatever. And I will say that when I did it, and I asked you guys for myself, like for Lily, and for me personally, everyone was there. But that's because you guys know me, right? I've got a following of, of friends and people that know me. And everyone jumped in and supported me, and it was so freaking awesome. But when it was a nameless person, there was no response. So it needed to be said. So I, I want to say to you guys, I wasn't screaming and yelling at you. Um, angry at you it just came out there was maybe it was maybe I was feeling that the, the upset of the person that wasn't heard or seen or that they I don't know but it needed to come out spirit said so and just like what I'm saying to you right now it needs to come out that there is somebody that is literally being poisoned um, by someone that they love and they're doing it to themselves now because of something that they're ingesting or whatever it is so those are the messages um, Lily unfortunately had to be my messenger because I wasn't picking up on it and she got really, really sick. And it's also was, like I said, a message for me. My twin was saying, my girl, like me, my girl needs water. So I was taking care of myself, but I didn't realize Lily still had a message that she had to deliver. Yes, my girl needs water, me, but there's you that is being poisoned. You are being poisoned and you don't know that you're doing it. You're doing it to yourself because my messenger who said my girl needs water was the one who represents my twin and my twin is slowly poisoning herself, not knowing what she's doing, thinking that she's going over there and helping herself, and she's poisoning herself. So those, all the, those are all the messages. Um, 
since you guys are all on there. Um, hi, Janice. I, hi, Kimmy. Oh, hi, how are you doing? I hope you're doing better. Kimmy, you guys, if you guys could, wow, if you could really send a lot of love and support um, to Kimberly right now. She lost her brother. He drowned. And the family's going through a really, really difficult time. And she could really use a big, huge wave of love, energetic love, to wrap around her and the entire family right now. So I'm asking for her. I'm going to go back out here. And um, Lily's inside, so I guess I'll do this here because I've got it all set up. I can survive. <laughs> um, so I'm, I told, Spirit told me five people. And that's all I'm doing. And I'm saying straight up right now, there will be five people read for. And I cannot break that. I'm really bad. I have to do what I'm told. So, hi. So five people, say please. Five people, I would like a reading, and then I'm going to go, because I haven't worked today at all. And like I said, I spent next month's rent on Lily's bill. So <laughs> please be kind and understand that I, even though I would love to do it a lot more, I can't. Thank you for doing that for Kimmy. Okay, so um, five people if you want it. Otherwise, I'm going to go in. This is me drinking my chia seeds, see? I've got collagen and chia seeds and omega-3 uh, oil and something else in here. Okay. Lisa, Dawn, Luciana, Janice. That's four. One more. And somebody write this down for me. Lisa, Dawn, Luciana, Janice. Hi, you guys. I didn't say, see everybody to say hi. I just saw you all now. Done. Okay, it's over. It's done. Somebody put the reading is closed. <laughs> I can't do it. Love for Kimmy. Kimmy, you're getting hearts and love. Okay. Um, Lisa, Dawn, Luciana, Janice, Michelle. L you know what? If any of you guys have been read for recently... Can you tell me, because I think a couple of these people that asked have not ever been read for. Can you tell me who has not been read for? Please tell me who has not been read for. Thank you. Thank you, Janice. Please tell me who is, I have not read for. And I am going to have to take those people first, and then I'll take from the top. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Hey, what do you think of my new glasses? I got new glasses. <laughs> Never been read for. Dawn, okay. Don, whoever asked me for a reading, you got to tell me if you have not been read for. You will be read for first. Ron, never. Okay, so Don and Ron <laughs> are the first two. Has anyone else there not been read for? Thank you, Michelle. Pam, you've never been read for. Okay, so we've got Don, Ron, and Pam. Can somebody write down Don, Ron, and Pam? <laughs> God. <laughs> and then uh and then I'm gonna go back. Let's see. Don, Ron, and Pam. Good lord. I can't see that back that back far. Back that far. Don, Ron, Pam, thank you. Um okay, so Don, Ron, and Pam. So then Lisa, and Luciana, it looks like. And you guys do know that, so somebody please write add that, and you do know that, of course, even though I am reading for that specific person, the messages are all for us, right? They're always, they always are. Oh, I, I do want to tell you, the, um, as I see, sit here doing the reading, I have the lion, right? And in my face the whole time was the trickster. So that's telling me that there is a lion that's in your life, but there's the trickster in your face the whole time, all along. So that is the one that you aren't, rec you know that you've got the lion in your life, someone that you can count on. They are in your life, but this one is also in your life, and that is the trickster, and they've been staring you in the face the whole time. That's the one who's poisoning you. That's a message, and I hope that um, I'm going to leave it to spirit to make sure that they get that message and recognize who the trickster is. That person is holding a crown in their mouth. To me, I believe that this person is that 
tiger lily. I do, I, I, I'm showing that because she's holding the crown. So she wants, she's spoiled. This little crown is what, from a Gucci bag or from, uh, what is this? The, this is the Juicy, Juicy Couture. So the person who is the trickster that's poisoning you is that one. That's the little spoiled princess who's tagging around after the brother's, um, um, her bro the, the brother, um, and it's the friend. Um, that's the one who's poisoning you. The trickster's been there the hold on. So the person who calls themselves the butterfly is being poisoned by this spoiled princess and this lion is taking care of you and watching out for you. I know what it means. I hope they get it. Okay. Don, Ron, Pam, Lisa, Luciana. Thank you. Okay. Relax. Everything is okay. I love this card. I love that card. So this is, this, this makes me feel that because of, um, now whatever is going on in your life, this is, this is for all of you. For me specifically, because I came out with that specific message about the person, just like Lily, the person who was being poisoned, it's okay. It's going to be okay. It's like, you're going to find out and you're going to realize in time that you'll be able to stop it for everybody else. They're saying, no matter what the situ situation looks like, they want you to let go of worries. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but I got a, um, I got license plate frames. Uh, um, I get messages on license plates, on cars, on everything, right? And when I was at the hospital, at the animal hospital yesterday, and when I went out into the parking lot, I took a, pl a picture of two license plate frames uh, with the license plates. One of them was specific, was, I mean, they're both about me, but one of them was very, very, um, it was numbers. And, the, and I, I understood what the numbers meant. They were, and, and then there were our letters. There, were, there was my, my initials, my twins' initials, and then the numbers, the number seven, the number five, um, the number three, um, the number nine. So the number three represented the archangels, the ascended masters with you, which I believe is Jesus. Um, the number seven, you're on the right path because I was figuring things out. You, I, I, was, I was on the right path. The number five is big changes rumbling through your existence. The number nine is happy endings. Um, and then our initials, but there was another one and it said movie. Okay. It said movie. So what they're saying in this is no matter what the situation looks like to you, they want you to look at it like, and I said, my life is a movie. My life is a movie because our lives are, um, spirit literally said to me, you wanted some answers. So we brought you a movie and they literally have brought me movies. I get answers in movies. I, I, I really loud, like big time, but they're saying, the story or the movie of your life that you're watching, it's like you're watching a story where it's nail biting time, right? Things are like, oh my God, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? What's going to happen? You're the star and so is the person in your life. They're the stars. You're not going to die because you're the stars in the movie. Everything's going to turn out in the end because they don't kill the star, right? All kinds of shit's going to go down, but in the end, everything's going to turn out fine and the movie concludes and the hero gets, you know, rescues the girl and, and everything's going to be good. So that's what they're saying. They're saying, relax, everything's okay. Remember I said that these horses, these horses were trying to get up the hill. They're struggling, struggling, trying to get up the hill. And there were two of them. Um, one was made, made it to the top but the other one slid back down. So she didn't want to abandon that one. So then the one went and sat down at the curb and she, I, I went over to the curb and I was petting the horse. Um, this little horse is lying there. So it's, it's telling the one that's lying there. It's okay. Don't worry. Someone's coming for you. It's going to be okay. You're going to be okay. Um, spirits on your team. Um, I want you, I'm going to post with this afterwards, Appaloosa, because they're literally showing me the Appaloosa. So it represents, um, and it might mean something specifically to the person, but the Appaloosa totem, um, the specific animal, there's a message in the Appaloosa. Um, it's also a, a, a unicorn and unicorns are magic. So, um, they're basically just saying everything's going to be fine. The situation is soon going to be over. And, um, actually what has happened has made you stronger for it. It's made you wiser. It's made you, um, learn to stand up for yourself. It's, you know, it, it's, it's, there's been major positive benefits that have come from a horrible situation. I said yesterday, what am I supposed to be learning from this? My cat almost died. I've cried for two days straight all day and all night. I've lost my entire month's rent. And I was already in a, you know, just barely getting back up on my feet again. What is the lesson I'm supposed to learn from this? And well, one, there's poisonous plants that my cat is ingesting and it needs to stop. So my cat represents my twin. He is ingesting something poisonous and he needs to stop it. So that message is out to you, babe. Um, also for my baby that's right here that unfortunately has to take a hit. And um, I heard it in my dreams a long time ago. He took a bullet for his brother. Um, and my, my baby's taken a bullet, take a, took a bullet for me and my twin. So 
I had to save her and spirit didn't let, let me go. At least I'm connected enough so that I understood that. So I'm to learn that there's poisonous things that I need to remove. I also need to, uh, I, needed, um, I needed grass, which means I need open spaces. I need to get away from the city, but, I, but, but she also needed grass. So every time we get a message, we have to look at all the different meanings that, that spirit is bringing to us symbolically, right? So everything I'm saying right now, what are all the messages that are coming to you? This person is out in kind of a nature place, a natural place, so it's like take a breath, relax. It's the weekend, so maybe you're supposed to get out into nature, chill out a little bit. Things are going to be fine. It's okay. There's actually a miracle that's taking place because when I went there, I'm going to get upset. When I went to the animal hospital, when they looked at her, they told me straight up it's too late. And I kept hearing in my head, no, it's not she's going to be fine she's going to be fine because i kept doing reiki on her and i know how powerful reiki is and i got to tell you it is the reiki that saved her they don't know how she was able to go through all she went and continually poison herself and i will tell you that i do reiki on late lily every night on my twin on liger on myself we all i do reiki on all of us every single night and that's what saved them and i will tell you this is another message aside from this one particular card Reiki healing is very powerful. I'm a Reiki master, and I have, will tell you, I've done readings, for, uh, done Reiki, um, it's on my page, you can see, um, healings for someone who was in, God, where was she, New York? And it was so strong, it is strong, and it doesn't matter where they are in the world, because it's coming from source, it's coming from, I call my energy in through my father, and I ask that the energy come through me. I am a healer, I have healing hands, I have that connection, it's one of my gifts. And then I send it out and I use my, and you can use, you use a surrogate, right? So I use my cats as a surrogate because they get the benefit. So thank you God that I chose Lily to use as a surrogate, not Liger. Because Lily kept coming to me and Lily represented my twin and me. And so as I was doing work on her every night to help my twin, I was unwittingly saving her life because she was getting the benefits of it. So there's so many different messages that come out and you've got to pay attention to what's going on to everything that Spirit is saying. Um, so what's interesting is what Spirit told me too was that what I was going through, this horrible thing, because I've had all these horrible things happening. My twin's been going through something really horrible. His body has literally be, been under attack. My body broke down, right? My body's been under attack. I've learned how to help my body. I've now learned how to help my, my cats. I've learned the message to give my twin so he can help himself. And so what, they're, what Spirit told me all along was you will learn lessons and you will learn how to avoid this in the future and you will learn how to work through things. And there's things that I have now learned that I didn't know before. I didn't know chia seeds. I put chia seeds. I, I do it for myself. It's in my water. Well, it's now been ground up and put in my cat's food because cats will not, they get most of their moisture from their food. If you feed them dry food all the time and they get to the place where their body gets overheated or, or um, they get nauseated and they don't want to eat, they won't eat, they're not getting their moisture, their body will dehydrate and their body starts breaking down. So there's all these different things that are happening. So now my cats have chia seeds ground up in their food. So with chia seeds, what it does is when you drink, it absorbs and it holds water like little gelatin capsules. And hikers know this, they use it a lot. This is a superfood and it's got omega fatty acids in it as well. Very, very nutrient, uh, nutritional for, for us and for the animals. And it's safe for animals, yes, in case you're asking. So when hikers have it in their water, it's so that they have it, you know, you've only got so many water bottles, right? But it's holding on to this moisture in your body. So it's like little time release capsules. So I've learned things. So now you guys have also learned things. So this card went on a long time, but there was a lot of messages that had to go out for that. This is why I'm only supposed to do five readings. Good Lord. Uh, I know you did tell me. Thank you. And I wasn't, I, I don't give up. I don't believe. People have said the same thing about my twin. It's over. It's not coming back. It's too late. Sorry. I know what I'm showing. And I heard in my head, even though I cried my face off, I, but I got to tell you, I prayed. I was on my knees praying. I was asking for Archangel Raphael's help. But the thing is, no, it's not too late. But it, it would have been too late. She was dying. It would have been too late if I hadn't taken the steps that Spirit was telling me to take. So it's the same stuff with us. They all share, yes, everything's going to be okay, but you need to do the things that Spirit's telling you. Babe, you're poisoning yourself. There's something that you're doing, and it's somebody that's with you that's doing it. Whether it's emotional, whether it's physical now, whether it's in your food, whatever it is, and to other people as well. When Spirit tells you, pay attention to this, and something that I'm saying to you rings a bell, I literally was shown poison rat poison so and then i saw mushrooms so be careful about what you do also a lot of times people will take things 
like I said, and they don't realize that it's actually very harmful for you. Um, so be careful about the stuff you take and be careful about the things you do. Ayahuasca, I'm not doing it. It's not something that my body can to take because my mind is way too open and I'm not letting 3,000 million other spirit entities into my body when I'm not protected. So the next person's message is, you're welcome. Um, so that was for, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Dawn. This is Ron. Good Lord. Practice. Okay. The best way to get good at a skill is to practice it. Practice, practice, practice it until you get it right. So what is this regarding for you? Let's look at this. What's going on here? So we see a musical instrument. Someone's playing over here. Someone's playing a musical instrument here. She's dancing. This one's doing some kind of acrobatic trick. So whatever it is in your life that's going on, you need to practice it. Why are people good at what they do? Because they practice it, right? They practice it a lot. It's like I started taking guitar lessons and I got to the place where I could play a song and then I stopped taking it and I'm not very good at it <laughs> because I don't practice it. Also with my gifts, I have to continually practice my gifts. With my Reiki, I have to continually do it. That's why I'm literally saying, hey, let's do it, do it. The more you practice something, the stronger it is, the better it is. Um, we learn more things. Um, um, the more I use my intuition, the more you use your intuition, the more spirit will bring you messages, the more your mind is expanded and open. You don't need ayahuasca to do it. You just need to open your heart and your mind and be open to spirit because you need to shield yourself. You need to protect yourself. Remember, you guys, every single night before you go to bed, clear your shield and reshield yourself again. Or at least reshield yourself in the morning before you get out of bed. Put a shield around yourself right now. Let's ask for the golden shield, that golden sun, the heat from the sun. I can't show it to you, but you can imagine it. Imagine the heat from the sun coming down into your crown. We, as we, have, as we have this happening, we've got Archangel, we're asking Archangel Metatron to open our chakras, open them, clear them, balance them. Ma Michael, we ask please that we have stand at our side. So he's protecting us while we are open. Pay attention to this, you guys. When you open yourselves up to anything, make sure that you ask for protection. If you are doing something that is opening your chakras or opening your, your energy shield, you need to ask for protection on the side. Michael's protecting us. Metatron's gone in, he's balanced and cleared the chakras. We're asking now that the energy of the sun go in. We imagine it filling our entire soul, our entire insides, that molten lava is, is burning off anything that, has, that we have polluted on inside of our shield by negative thoughts, feelings, or actions. So that's burned off from the, from the energy of the sun, which is the divine masculine, which is movement, forward, powerful movement, but it's also the energy from the source. Um, it now starts to spin around with our chakras, our solar chakra, our sacral chakra, our, um, our solar plexus, our sacral chakras are spinning. Those two keep pumping for some reason. Then it goes up to your heart. Um, it's, it's pulling out all your chakras. It's spinning around and around and around. Um, at this time, it's spinning out and now it shoots up out of the top because what's coming out from us is love. This is divine healing love that's coming. So that's loving heat energy, but it's also healing energy. And as I say that, I see a bee on the flower. Get busy and get the honey. So this is the work you have to do. You can't expect this stuff to happen to you guys if you don't practice it, if you don't do it every single day. So practice, practice, practice. This is what's coming out. Every single day, get better at it. You can change it. Every day I change it up. So now we've got it spinning around inside, right? It's starting to shoot up over out of our um, crown. It's starting to shoot up uh, out of our third eye. It's starting to shoot up out of our, to me, I shoot it out of my heart because it sends out unconditional love to everyone. It's spinning, but it's spinning so fast that nothing is getting in. So right now we're protected because it's spinning so fast, nothing's able to come in. It's also now going outside of us like a volcano erupting and it's pouring down outside of us. And this golden shield is now completely covering us. We are now completely covered in this golden shield. Now we ask Archangel Metatron, we say to thank you to Metatron for helping us. We ask Michael, as we clear and close our chakras, seal them off. We ask Michael to help us with this golden shield, put a, put a clear coating on the outside of the shield. I particularly, myself at this time, have been asking and I've been visualizing myself a titanium shield. I have it going down like, wow, my higher self is in form. I'm, I can feel myself, it's coming, bam. This is them talking, I love this. I love my higher self coming through. Um, I, uh, I see myself um, with, a, with a rhinoceros shielding, and it's uh, not a rhinoceros, I'm sorry, it's an armadillo. Armadillo plating, plating and it's going dit, 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 and everything's shutting down, right? It's like titanium sh plating that's shutting down, closing down. Um, on the outside of that is now a mirrored plating, it's mirrored. So, any, so I have got an impenetrable shield, it's titanium, it's closed down, 
like a, like a, a armadillo, armadillo shield. Michael has put a clear coating on it. But I told you when I was being attacked the other night, that person threw this this ball of icking, stinking, wrenching shrapnel at me, and it was in my legs. Right? It was in my legs. I hadn't protected myself that night, so my shield was not up as it should have been. So that's why I had to pull it out. Also, I need to tell you before I went to bed that night. When I saw that happening and I said, it's not okay, this is not all right, this person that was being attacked, I said, it's not okay, those cords have been cut, this one that my twin is connected to, um, this, these uh, octopus tentacles that were wrapping around, it's not okay, those cords are going to be cut, I'm going into battle formation. When I asked for that, I said, I want all bullets, um, arrows, um, cords, anything that has come at me removed. Michael, I'm asking for your help with this. That's why I was sitting down picking out. They literally lit up and showed me why I wasn't moving forward, why he's not moving forward, because we literally have shrapnel in our legs that is preventing us from moving forward. That has been thrown at us by this negative energy that we have associated with. I was told by spirit, disconnect from dishonest associations. You literally have people that you're associating with daily on your page that call themselves spiritual people that are not coming from a place of integrity. That weakens my shield. That allows me to be susceptible to darker energy. That's not okay with me. So I literally was shown by spirit. So there was many messages that happened in that, in that reading. I mean, in that vision. And when I did that reading for you guys, I saw that. And then I saw that person come back. She was taken away, right? The, the, all of you guys showed up, all of my team showed up, all the angels were there. She was apprehended and taken away, but she came back and she said, I will take you down. And I sat on her and, and I apprehended her and I said, you will not take me down because I'm naming you, I'm throwing you out there. So what I'm doing when I do these messages and these readings, I am, I am basically with spirits um, help and by them kind of pushing me because it doesn't make me feel good to be the bad guy, you know? I don't really like to do this. I'm outing people. I am throwing people out. And so now that you can now look out there and see who is it amongst my friends that is actually using their spiritual connections to network. This is not about spirituality and helping. This is about a personal financial profit. Or who in my life is using their connection to me, their friendship, um, whatever it is, in order to benefit them for themselves so that I can't move forward, so that I'm not able to grow or move on. Um, these are all practices. Um, that we have to constantly be aware of, right? So we've got our shield, our golden shield around us. Um, we're protected from it. But when we get stuff like that thrown at us, that comes at us by family, by work, by people that we associate with, by things that we do to ourselves. If you're drinking ayahuasca and you're opening yourself up and you don't know how to properly shield yourself, don't mess with things that you don't know how to deal with. You're not qualified to jump in and do shit like that. There are a lot of people that offer ayahuasca um, ceremonies in, in Sedona, in different places, and they say, and this is what I'm telling you, they say that they've got the true ayahuasca. What I believe is what my twin took was not the true ayahuasca. They get an herb, but it's not the same thing, and it makes you very, very sick. Yes, ayahuasca makes you sick as well, but, the one, but there are those that are, that are saying that they have the true, actual, from the Amazon, from Peru, the ayahuasca um, mixture, because it's a mixture, it's a tea that they have to make, that they brew, and it's not the real thing. And it's making them, other people sick, and they're, it's, they're stealing. They're using their connections, it's, it's in order for them to make profits, so pay attention to that. Um, and as far as practice and anything else, I mean, that's pretty clear, right? You're not gonna get good at anything until you practice it. So, the more you do it, the more you improve, the stronger you get, the more um, confident you feel, which makes you be able to reach higher and, 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 and do more. So don't be satisfied just staying at the same spot. Spirit said that to me too. Okay, you've done this, but now we, you need to do more. You need to reach out. That's We always have to kind of like take that next step, right? What, what is next for me? So then ask Spirit, what is next for me? Show me. What is it that, that, that I'm supposed to be working on next? What next level am I supposed to go to? because this is what they're asking you to do. And you can't go to that next level if you're not practicing and get into the place where you are able to manifest these and, and, and manifest what you want and, and, and um, be accomplished at this skill. Whether this skill is art, whether this skill is music, whether this skill is massage therapy, cranial sacral work, um, Reiki, Reiki energy healing, um, working with um, oracle cards, um, 
business, whatever it is. It doesn't even have to be, like I said, it doesn't have to be a spiritual work. It's just something that you want in your life and you're not going to get any good at it if you're just sticking there. So maybe you need to do some updated classes or um, do some research, right? And do a little bit more. For me, I, I, for me, what, what they're always showing me is, is research. When they show me things, I've learned a lot. So what did I learn from what happened to Lily? I learned a lot. It makes me really sad that my baby is the one who did it for me. But she signed up for this. She's my spirit cat, right? Liger and Lily, they're my guardian angels. They're my twin and my guardian angels. That's why I say when I go from here, I don't go without those cats. Those are my spirit cats. Our animals are our guardian angels. So if you don't have a twin soul in the physical, it's probably your, your pet. It's just what it is. Okay, so that's that message. Who's next? Um, Don, Ron, Pam. Pam is next, and then Lisa. Okay. I'm not going to go down and see what you're saying right now because I'll lose the list. <laughs> and I'll get out of order. I found something really, really wonderful on the ground, and I need to ask, okay, who is this for? Hold on. So this one, so that was Ron. This one is for Pam, and... I have to ask, the first person that says this to me, give me a number, it's either one or two. Okay, so I'm gonna read for Pam, and it's decide. Actually, it works better when I put it there, because then the light's not on it. All right, so here you are at a decision-making time. Now, what's interesting is here you are, but I think that's there you too, and you're underwater. A waterfall right so this is emotional emotional waterfall so something is a very emotional you need to make a decision about something um, you need and and so basically spirit saying to me that you need to make a decision but maybe you need to take a little bit because it's because it's because it's emotional this is a difficult decision perhaps so maybe you need to take some time to meditate times outside get clear on what it is what it is that you actually want um, because right now you could go in a couple of different directions, maybe a few different directions. So you need, and, and remember, I just said, what's next for me, right? What's, I said, what's, what's, what is it that spirit wants us to do next? So maybe that's what you need to do is literally ask spirit, what is next for me? Um, it's up to you to make the decision. They're not going to make the decision. This is your life. This is your path. You need to choose where you want to go. You can ask spam family members or a friends or spirit, but none of them get to make this decision. This is the decision that you need to make. And it, it's going to require some deep thought. Like even for me, um, I've been thinking a lot today about moving. And uh, I've been thinking about a lot of people, of friends of mine that have moved away. When the great wave comes, go to the mountain, you know? Um... A lot of my friends have moved away and California is very expensive and I feel that there is a great wave coming and I don't feel it's safe for me here, whether it's energetic or actual. I mean, Trump's talking to uh, Korea, right? And, and uh, it wouldn't surprise me if they have a, um, if there's a nuclear war happening. If there is, there will be a great wave and California will be wiped out. So uh, it's not, it's not like a, a joke anymore, really, you know, and I've been getting it for three years, so I'm taking it very seriously. So personally, myself, I've been thinking, hmm. My friend moved to Iowa. She's renting a two-bedroom house for $700. I'm renting a studio, it's just a room. I don't even have a kitchen or a bathroom in it, and I pay $800. Um, I lived in Wisconsin, and I had a two-bedroom giant, beautiful place for $500. So I'm thinking, you know, where am I moving? So I gotta get clear. Um, so for you, they want you to look at all the different possibilities. They're actually asking you to close your eyes, so meditation time. Um, For, in order for it to go your, your way, the best, whatever it is that you're deciding, in order for it to be of the most benefit to you, it also needs to be of the most benefit to others. Because when you think about where could I go or what could I do that is going to, whatever this decision is, that is going to help the most people, spirit will help you. They will back that 10,000%. Um, so that's what you need to ask. What would help me, but also help other people? Um, at this moment, if things aren't going smoothly, my life has not been going smoothly. If you feel like things are stuck, um, you need to make a decision. Decisions are a way of making things moving. They get things moving. Even if you just make a mental decision that I'm, um, Spirit's been saying to me, what would you do if you had to suddenly move? You had to pack things up and suddenly move. What would you take? Simplify, simplify. 
And I thought to myself, you know how often I've been saying, um, I'd like to go in an RV and, and travel around the country in an RV. There's so many beautiful places in the world I'd love to see, right? I saw, a I'm following a, a family on Facebook. That's what they did. They quit their job six months ago and took their two cats and their two dogs in an RV. And they're traveling all over the, uh, they've been up and down the coast of California. And they're traveling all around the United States. Um, they work because they are able to work from online. They work for, the, from the, for, their self, for themselves, and that's what I do. And I thought, I would love to do that, right? So I kept thinking, and yet in my mind, remember Spirit was saying, um, don't lock Spirit into a box. Don't, get a, don't have preconceived notions of what things must be because you're preventing something beautiful from forming, that, that's come, wanting to come. I saw myself in this little cabin in the woods, right? I don't know, I just saw that. But I've also been putting out there that I'd like to travel around the country in an RV. So why would Spirit keep saying to me, what would you do? if you had to just take a few things with you. I started to panic. I thought, oh my God, is a great wave coming? Great wave come, go to the mountain. Is that what's happening? Is it going to be a natural disaster? Maybe there is. But then I thought, no, you're probably going to be in an RV traveling around the world, around the country. And what could you take? You can't take everything with you. So make a decision. So even mentally in my mind, so I thought, okay, I'll go either way. So when you make a decision, then the universe is able to start working with you, right? If you need to be course corrected like I did, I wanted to be in the trees. I wanted to be in a little cabin in the trees. Now, remember, I said that sometimes, uh, and what I was shown with, with our weekly reading, if you guys remember back to the weekly reading, all of these things are coming into play. Sometimes, um, remember the little gnome that was going to come and offer her something, and it didn't seem like it was going to be too much, but it was going to grow into something beautiful, something much more wonderful. So maybe this little cabin in the woods that I want isn't, isn't possible right now. Remember, maybe, maybe the person was going to go out into the woods. They were going to go on this adventure, right? They were going to jump off a cliff. They were going to, you know, just go for it. Um, and maybe there's, just like when I went to Wisconsin, I went there first, then I went to Sedona, then I get here. So maybe there's an in-between stage that you're going to go. Maybe you're not going to get to the first place that you want to go. And I don't mean you all moving, like you're all moving, but anything that you're doing. Maybe you're not going to get to the first place. Maybe there's going to be something that you're going to be doing for a little while. So maybe even with work. Right? You're going to be doing something, and then you're going to transition into something else. But make a decision. At this point, you need to make a decision. If you need to be course corrected like I just was, I was course corrected. Stop looking at that little log cabin on the side of your bed and seeing yourself there. Yes, that's going to be nice when you have that, but right now you're probably going to be traveling around. Maybe you're not going to do that. Maybe you're going to be traveling with your work. I kept getting that. So all of these things we need to pay attention to. So when we make our decision, we say this or something better. Show me the way. But I do need to make a choice. So you do need to make a choice. Um, and, and, and what they're saying is, if you don't like the way things are going, you're feeling stuck, you're feeling like things are like, like here, it's just not going well, then you need to do something. You need to make a change. You need to make a choice. You can't just keep sitting there and allow yourself to be poisoned, right? Spirit said you're in a toxic environment, you need to move. So maybe what was going on is not a physical poisoning because my dreams are symbolic, right? So maybe what I'm seeing is this person, this, this the ayahuasca person or this little spoiled princess or whoever this is, this Indian little spoiled princess, maybe not poisoning this person physically, even though I did see physical poison making this one ill in order to keep them there. It could also be toxic energy. It could also be the environment is toxic because Lily was in a toxic environment, right? She's in a toxic environment and she's self-poisoning. So there's several things you gotta look at. So if you're in a place where things aren't working, you need to do something. You need to make a decision and get up and change whatever it is in your life um, to see what it is that needs changing in your life. Um, whatever it is, the best decision is where you're happy. Remember, um, the person was going to be leaving a place of ridicule, blame, um, judgment, um, anger. And they're going to a place where there is love, kindness, um, joy, happiness, peace. So all of when you're going to make your decision in whatever it is, where is it that you would go? I've, I have clients who are calling all the time about work, right? This company offered me this work and, and this company did too. This one's really lucrative, but I feel more like this one's family. And I said, you know, just because that one has more money that they're initially offering you, just like this little gnome that's offering what looks like it's not much at first, it's going to grow into something amazing. So maybe you have two job offers in front of you. And this one has a lot, you know, it, it's got, it looks really good on paper. But remember, Marie Masquerade is about to offer you something, and it could be, it, it's going to be damaging. In the long term, it's going to be something that's going to be very, very painful, a lesson that you don't want to learn. So maybe you're going to take the choice that's a little less you're going to take what's maybe on the paper or on the surface doesn't look like a lot but it is going to be amazing because that is where you're going where you feel comfortable that's where you're going where your heart feels good you're going to a place where it feels like home right so that's that's your message i like that message i'm getting a lot of messages myself when i'm hearing all of this <clears throat> 
Oh, did you guys give me a number? I'm gonna go back. So first of all, that was Pam. So then Luciana, Lisa and Luciana, what was the number I was given? Nobody gave me a number, you guys. I need for a number. You need to choose, give me a number, one or two. Come on, this is, a, this is like an interactive thing here. I'm asking for your help and I need to see that you're working with me. See, there's the message. I'm asking for your help and I need to see that you're working with me. Two, thank you, because let me make sure let me make sure. I just want to, before I say it, I want to make sure. You're right. Okay, because that's what I thought too. So one of the cards fell on the ground. And I looked at who I'd read for already. And I'm up to Lu Lisa and Luciana. So I thought, well, who was it for? Because I'd already picked the card up and I heard in my head too. But I needed confirmation and you gave it to me. I like that because I want you guys to know this. I do this all the time. I am very intuitive. I get very, very clear messages and I hear messages as well. But I never operate just that way. I always check with spirit. I always double check, triple check. And when it's something that it's very important, I will check again and again and again to make certain. And I will get it from many different sources that yes, what I this is an important move. And before I say this, or before I do this, my higher self said this, but I need to know that spirit says this is the best thing. So I already heard two, but I also got confirmation. So the last card that fell on the ground, and it's a pretty amazing card, is for you, Luciana. Okay, so Elisa, this is your card. Ah, this is cool. This, all, this, this whole reading is flowing together. Curiosity. Curious is the cat, <laughs> right? So, we're talking about what's next for us, right? We're talking about where we're going, where we're moving, what job we're going to, what, what um, project we're starting next, what, what gifts it, are they that we're trying to work on next. Um, start a project related to something you're curious about. So this cat, and I will say since I'm holding this card, um, and, and this is for you, but, but I am the cat, um, so for myself, I have remote viewed. Um, I do it in my dreams all the time, but I would like to remote view while I'm lucidly, like while I'm awake. I've done it twice that way, but that's what I want to work on. I, and my twin is a remote viewer, so I will learn that from him. So for me, she is, the cat is leaning on the horse. Remember the two horses that were going up the hill, the magic horse? And she's going to learn from this horse, this unicorn, this one that's coming from spirit, this star child. She's going to learn the gift. So for you, what do you wonder about? What do you want to learn about? Because your curiosity, what it is that your soul says that, you, that you're interested in, that is your life's path. That is your soul. It's not necessarily your life's path. It's your life's path now. Because I, my gifts are growing. I'm constantly changing. You are constantly changing. So at this time, um, for me, remote viewing, I, I want to work on that, right? What is it that you want to work on? That is your next step on your soul's path. So look around here. There's boulders. There's stones. The boulders, the mountains represent spirit to me. They also represent maybe a block that's in your way. What can help you get around a block? Um, they want you to pay attention to your thoughts and action to see. Pay attention to your own words. Um, I, I hear myself all the time, you know, um, talking out loud and and I give myself my own my own I'm telling myself something all along and I'm not hearing it so start paying attention to the words that you say right um, what is it that I said I said I need a I need an assistant I need somebody that's gonna work with me I need an assistant to help me do this I'm gonna have that because my assistant is my twin that is the magical star child that I'm gonna be working with that's the one who's gonna teach me his gifts and we work together so he's gonna be my assistant he is my Merlin he is my wizard so for you pay attention to the words that you ask what have you been asking for you can ask family members uh, friends what they think um, you know they hear you talk about maybe what what do you hear me talk about what do you hear you know what am I always going on about what do I like I love music I love music I love animals I want my language back remember I've said to you guys I used to speak the language of the animals and I do know as a, as a shaman I've learned a lot more not learning that language but I want my language back maybe I can get it back so maybe I need to work on that because I say that all the time so what is it maybe you need to ask your family and friends what was it that I talk about pay attention to everything that comes out like that so you know what it is that maybe your soul is saying that maybe your ego mind is not hearing right now because you're blocked with other things 
um, pay attention to what you do in your spare time. What, what, what is it that um, is interesting to you? What, what do you find yourself doing? I find myself, I want to go into, I'm constantly trying to get to nature. I'm constantly playing with animals. I'm constantly trying to go hiking. Uh, trees, huge, huge. Right now I'm seeing a butterfly fly by. It's a paper butterfly. Um, it was a yellow butterfly. My friend is a butterfly. I know that. My friend is my friend is the one who's been poisoned by the trickster. My friend is the butterfly. Okay, that's that was a message for me. I just had to see now when I talk out loud I get my own answers. So that's another thing. What are you fascinated by? Swimming, fashion, um, gardening. I love to garden. I've always gardened, right? I've always had I've always had uh, property and I've acreage in Canada and, and I always grew perennial. Let me even here when I don't even have a garden, I, I'm gardening. So that's something that I want to do. So that's something, and, and you know, maybe I'm going to be working with herbs, natural herbs. I, I know that I am. I'm probably going to be, maybe uh, think about that. So maybe if you're that kind of a person, maybe you're supposed to grow um, herbs. Maybe you're supposed to work that into your spiritual work. Maybe you're supposed to be helping other people. Um, basically, you're supposed to start a project is what they want you to do. They want you to start a project. They want you to start working on something that you're curious about. They want you to... Um, um, ask for assistance, so maybe interview um, experts in that field. So do your, I, I saw, see what did I do yesterday? I did my own research, right? Remember that person that was, was networking and trying to, to rip people off the money and, and, and uh, so what did I do? I, I looked online and I found it for half the price. And uh, when everyone told me it was too late for Lily and when I would, even the doctor said, you know, it's, it's blah, blah, blah. And I, I, I researched it and realized and then I watched her and paid attention to what was going on and saw, no, she's poisoning herself. Wait a minute, she needs chia seeds. Wait a minute, I can put this in her food. Wait a minute, blah, 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 blah. And in the end, a cat that could have been dead if I didn't recognize all the messages Spirit was bringing me is now going to be on her way back to being safe again. So pay attention to all the things that you say. Um, do your own personal research. Uh, maybe ask for other uh, others in, in, that are in a field that you're that you're um, that they're in the field that you're interested in. So like my twin, <laughs> he's in the field I'm interested in. He's a freaking remote viewer. He's amazing. So I got to pick his brain. So in my dream time right now, I'm going to have to ask him to help me with remote viewing because that's what I really want to do. Um, basically, this is your scientist uh, scientist scientific experiment. This is what they're asking you to do right now. So, um, as I said yesterday, what is it that I learned from what happened to Lily? What is it that I learned from this? So, <clears throat> this project that you're going to do, it's going to help you learn a lot about yourself. It's going to help, you're going to help other people, you're going to help yourself, but it's going to help you learn a lot about yourself. Because every... It, when we start opening up, we have so many gifts. I mean, think about what they say, the human brain, how, what a small capacity our human brain that we actually use and, and, and the amount that could be used and developed. Um, and as we awaken, that's what we're finding out is that we are using more and more and more of our brain that has never been used before. So as we uh, practice, practice, practice and reach, reach, reach and expand, 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 we are opening up and using unused, untapped potential in our brain. I love that. Okay. So that was Luciana, right? And the last one is, no, that was Lisa, sorry. Sorry, that was Lisa. So Luciana, your card is my favorite card in the entire deck. And remember I said something about the Appaloosa? Remember at the beginning I said we needed to look into the Appaloosa? All right. So we see the Appaloosa and we see that Indian girl and we see the foxes. Now there's a lot of messages in this. Now I'm going to give you the negative message first because, and, and, um, because it's a lesson. So when I give a negative message, it's a challenge, right? It's a challenge that needs to be overcome. Remember I told you that Peter Pan had Princess Tiger Lily, who was the best, his friend's best little sister that was causing all kinds of trouble. She's a spoiled brat, um, the one that's poisoning him, the one that's toxic energy. There she is. That's her. And the Appaloosa was the one that was hurting. So this Appaloosa is in close contact with this person and they're not in their highest good. And I see that because I see the two foxes. The two foxes, now this is the negative. Foxes are sneaky and the fox talks about flexibility and adaptability, being able to shift quickly. They're also the masters of camouflage. So in the negative, this person is camouflaging themselves as a friend while they are literally poisoning this one 
keeping them tied to them, unable to move forward. And this one doesn't know why they're not moving forward because they're tied to this one who is the trickster that's holding the crown, the juicy couture bag, this one that likes fancy things and high heeled shoes. She's the one who's messing things up for you. So pay attention. That's the negative. Now for you, this message is for you. Worth waiting for. What you have been going through, everything that you have been going through, everything that has happened in your life has been waiting for. And what they're giving me is that your patience is about to pay off. Now, you could have, and I, I know this one loud and clear, you could have settled for good enough. My ex-husband, who was my best friend for a long time after we, we, we split up, which makes me feel like this one is probably this one's ex that ended up being a friend. Um, my, uh, he's a great guy. He's my, he's, he's my ex-husband and he's now married to my best friend. And um, she, uh, he said to me though, when, when, when he, I said I wasn't, gonna, um, I wasn't gonna settle, I was gonna go on my spiritual path, I was doing all this inner work. For the last 11 years, I've been doing, almost I've been doing this. And he says to me, Sherry, you're gonna have to settle. Everyone settles. And I said, I will never settle again. I've already done that. I will never settle. I will not settle for anything less than the whole package, all the way around. If I were to be with somebody physically in a relationship, I would have to be with them. I would have to get them and they would have to get me mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, and sexually, every single way, or I won't settle. So you could have settled, whatever this is, relationship, job, um, whatever it is, that you've been wanting and that you've been waiting for you could have settled for good enough but you weren't going to settle for good enough why should you settle for good enough no none of us need to settle for good enough we need to settle for the best for us now the best for me may not be what you think is the best right um, this person doesn't want this one to go where he what, what is in his highest good this person's saying stay here look it's beautiful you've got all of this you've got all the money you've got this and the other this person is saying, I know what's best for you. This person's soul is pulling them in a different direction. They don't know why they're tied down because this one comes across as a friend. So there could be people in your life that are saying family, friends that are saying, it's not in your highest good to pursue this job. It's not in your highest good to pursue, to move to that place. It's not in your highest good to date that person. It's not in your highest good to quit your job and, 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 and start growing a, a, an herb farm. It's not in your highest good. Look where you're at. You could make money off of this. Remember the person I told you that was a spiritual person that was saying, um, that was using their spirituality to, to make money, money market. You know, wow, that just popped up. Money marketing. Um, this is a really good deal for you. This is a really good deal for you. You can make a lot of money. While in the end, it's going to bite you in the ass. So you're not going to settle for any of this crap. You're going to go with for what's best for you. So whatever this is for you, there's so many messages coming out. I'm, I'm doing this for everyone. So do understand that this is broad because it's for everyone. Um, but what they're saying is what you have been asking for and what you have been waiting for because you didn't settle and because you didn't want to take what wasn't good enough for you. It's about to manifest. And your patience, as they said, has been worth waiting for. Your patience will be rewarded. And what's interesting is the reason it didn't happen and hadn't happened at this point is because exactly what's going on with me and Lily, what's going on with my twin and the person that's mind poisoning, he had lessons to learn. I had lessons to learn. We both had growth to learn, right? I've learned a lot. I've grown a lot spiritually. And it's not just about me and him. It's about helping others because what did I say in the beginning? This is not just all about you. Wherever we can go, whatever we can do that helps the most amount of people, that's where spirit blesses us. That's where you will find yourself moving forward in leaps and bounds. So up until this time, things couldn't come about because there were lessons that needed to be learned. So that when you do get what it is that you've been waiting for, you're able to be, um, you're able to maximize the benefits and, 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 and uh, the blessings for everybody involved, not just you. So... So, I'm looking back at the other Appaloosa. This one. Where is it? Actually, the unicorn. And I have the other Appaloosa. I'm sorry I lost her. I must have shuffled her away. Shoot. She's the one who said, relax, everything's okay. Remember? So that, that unicorn is lying down. 
The other Appaloosa, if I could find it, and I can't right now, she was, hold on, where are you at, babe? Where are you at? <laughs> I mean, you guys saw it. I don't know where, there it is. Okay, now check it out. Relax, everything's okay. Make your decision about what you want. Worth waiting for. So what's going on right now is, Spirit says what you have been waiting for is coming. So they want you to relax and realize that everything's okay. The stage is set. All you need to do is get clear on, on, on what you want. Everything is set. Everything's ready. You're going to find that your prayers are answered. And all the patience and hard work is going to be rewarded. So right now, this decision, this is about focusing on what it is, where you're going. Um, what it is that you want. They don't want fear in the way. If you get scared, they want you to call in um, spirit, which is... Okay, hold on. I had another one. Where? Oh, here it is. Your spirit, your star guide, right? Your spirit, your wizard. When you call on, if you get nervous, you're going to call that one in. You're going to lean on that one to help you relax as you make your decision and everything comes into play. Oops. <laughs> as everything comes forward, that's what's going on. All of those things come together. Um, they... I, I just, what, what really stands out for me, and I love it because it's just confirmation for me, I love it, I love it, I love it, is that it's almost as though everyone that, that's poo-pooed your idea or everyone that said you're nuts for waiting or everyone that said this is never going to happen, they told me Lily was dying. And she was not dying. I said, she is not dying. She will not die. Um, I begged, I did still, I did when I got scared, got down on my hands and knees and I prayed and I called for Archangel's help, Archangel Raphael specifically, I called in everybody, I called the Reiki masters in, I asked the father to fill me with energy and I literally, on my hands and knees, out here on the Chase Lounge, last night in the middle of the night, I did Reiki on hers, tears were pouring down my face and the night before, I was up the whole night the night before. So when we get scared, we call on spirit to help us and I did that. So yes, while you're waiting for this to manifest, we're probably going to have you know, there's a bit of a delay, right? It doesn't all happen just like that. It is very, very soon. It's going to be worth waiting for. It's going to be right there. But while you do have these, uh, the delay, when it, while it's not literally manifested in front of you, that's when we get a little bit scared, right? And now I'm seeing the bee again. I don't know if you could see the bee. Get busy and get the honey. So what do you have to do to keep yourself calm? Stay out in nature. Call upon spirit. Practice, practice, practice. Your shielding, your... Um, Whatever it is that you need to do, um, positive affirmations, um, whatever it is that you need to do to keep yourself calm in a space of centered, balanced, go hug a freaking tree. Um, I'm seeing, I think I'm going to Idlewild this weekend to do the reading. I, I, I'm seeing mountains and trees. We'll see. Um, I'm, I'm feeling that. But um, whatever it is that you need to do. So that's your message. I freaking love that. So anyone that's poo-pooed this idea they're about to find out that they were wrong and you were right and you're gonna get what you've been waiting for so yeah Kimmy I can't do any more readings on here um, I only said I, I said I was gonna do four, um, five and I'm not doing but I need to talk to you privately so um, if you want I can call you or um, and, and we can talk about about what you've asked me uh, I lost you way back then um, hi Phoebe hey Phoebe <laughs> Uh, I hope that the two kitties are okay. Um, Liger's okay. Liger's way overweight. He needs he needs to get to a place. I, I think I need to go invest in a cat harness and start teaching them how to go on a on a, on a, on a leash because they're gonna hate it. But they need to go outside. And um, if I'm gonna be in an RV traveling around the country, um, I'm not gonna be able to just let them cruise. So they're gonna have to be on a long leash, and they're gonna hate that. But Liger definitely needs to get out and move because that dude. Um, He's so overweight. He's like 27 pounds. He has no. He doesn't have anywhere to go. He doesn't have stairs to go up and down. It's terrible. Um, Kimmy, did you just hear what I said? I'm gonna. I'm gonna talk to you personally because I can't do any more readings. <laughs> um, and as far as Lil, she wouldn't let me feed her this morning. Um, I shoved something in her face and she didn't want it. So she ate enough yesterday. I saw she had poop in her box. So her bowels are working. So that's the one thing that we didn't see yesterday that we needed to see. So her bowels are working. But um. I'm, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the store today, and I told you guys yesterday, I'm going to get dark meat. I don't like doing it, but I'm going to get organic, um, grain-fed, dark, dark meat, um, chicken, 
and I'm going to boil it and I'm gonna get brown rice and I'm going to put that in and if they don't eat that I don't know what to do because that's what they want is you know when you cook meat they go mental I don't I don't know how I'm gonna do well with the meat cooking in the house since I'm a vegetarian it's probably gonna make me sick um, I don't know maybe I'll think of an, another way to do it um, but but it has to be done homemade so I appreciate all of your guys' help. Stairmaster, so totally Stairmaster. Ha, <laughs> Jody. <laughs> he needs a Stairmaster. Shoot, you know what? That's a message to me. I gotta go to the gym today, but I gotta go in and work. So, if you guys would um, are interested in any any help for uh, private readings, long distance Reiki healing, dream analysis, life coaching, my website, www.thewhispersofangels.com. My email address, sherrycolumbus at yahoo, S H E. R R I C O L U M B U S at yahoo.com. Um, as I said, I have a donate button on my page as well if you ever feel inclined. Um, you can go to my page and see everything that I, that I do and how it's broken down. And if it works for you, you go to um, payment options. It'll take you to my PayPal. My PayPal will notify me. And um, we can go from there. But please write to me on my email. Um, I get it quicker. Um, that's it. So hope you guys have a wonderful. I'm seeing doves. I can't turn it around because they're moving too fast, but doves are flying everywhere. So peace, harmony, um, everything's coming together. I feel like everything's, it is coming together. I've been in a really shitty place for the last few days and uh, I didn't need that. I was like, wow, spirit, I mean, I'm already having a hard time, you know, missing my twin and then I just get kicked when I'm down and wow, sometimes that happens to us, you know, and we feel like, dang, why do you kick us when we're down? Well, clearly there were things I needed to learn. And uh, so we're on the upswing again. <laughs> so I'm gonna go off, I'm gonna go in and um, I gotta work, I gotta make some money. And I wish you guys a wonderful day. Um, we gave our sick kitty raw goat's milk. It got him to take in nutrition. Ah. I, uh, you brighten my day. Thank you. You guys really help me. You really do. I, that's why I, I reach out to you. And I'm very sad that I had to. I will. I will. You, you may, I don't know if you notice. You probably won't. Oh. Hummingbird. There she is again. She keeps coming. She keeps coming. Um, and she's talking. Did you hear her talking? Her little... The little talking um <laughs> she's me that's funny she keeps talking okay shut up um what was I gonna say oh my my my, my page spirit told me you're gonna be shutting down websites you're gonna be shutting down pages what I'm doing is literally shutting down people I am deleting people left right and center um people that have been showing themselves as uh, using their spiritual gifts in order to network and market and take advantage of the spiritual community I don't like it and that makes me sad so that's what's happening in my world so you might want to um, pay attention now from now on uh, just because people call themselves light workers or you know start giving free card readings um, it doesn't mean that they are um, coming from a place of integrity um, and, and you can tell that you can you can just watch them that's like me I just had to watch for a little while the ones that I would uh, and there's a few you know, you just have to watch for a little while and, and, and see how, what are the things that they say, what are the things that they do, how do they respond, is it, sometimes people will talk, right, and then their actions don't, don't match their words. You're like, okay, you're not walking your walk, you're not talking your talk, so you gotta go. So it, it doesn't necessarily mean that somebody's evil, but it def definitely means that it, it's energy that's not working, and, and, and when energy is not in sync with you and it's not in your highest good, it absolutely does uh, debilitate you. It does break you down. So it's, it's the same thing with, with um, this little spoiled princess whose money focuses money, right? Her money, that's her, her focus is money. This one's focus is not money. This one's focus is, is doing the highest good. So it, it's time to separate from the ones who are um, focusing on money. And um, spirit will bring you the money when you're focused in the right direction. Spirit will take care of you. I will be taken care of. My money will come in because I will stay on my path. So that's another message. All right, you guys, the hummingbird's sitting here talking again. She's saying, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> so I'm gonna go. <laughs> Lots of love to you. Have a beautiful weekend, you guys. Um, I'll see you on Sunday, wherever I am from, uh, whenever I do the weekly reading, wherever I go. So have a beautiful day. Peace, love, and light. I love you.